Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty situation. Basically, I got my Ulta little magazine in the mail and they are doing 21 Days of Beauty starting on the 17th, which is this Sunday. This video should go up either on the 16th or on the 17th when the sale goes live and I just thought, hey, I've seen other people do this video and Honestly, I've gotten less and less enthusiastic about the Ultra 21 Days of Beauty, but it looks like they've added some really fun things this year, so I thought let's grab the magazine and take a look and see. So I will link Hot Mess Ness's video in the description box because she kind of talked about little tips and tricks. Now for me, I just log on whenever I see that the sale is live. Usually I'm up pretty early in the morning and I live in central time so I usually miss like the California rush. So usually I'm able to get most of the things I want online. I've never actually really been to a store like at opening to get an item but I know people do that too but that's just not me but you know you can there's so many people with tips and tricks on how to do this stuff so I'm sure you guys are already probably pros as well. So starting on March 17th, the Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, which is regularly $23, will be $11 and that is usually always part of the sale. I have tried the mascara before, I'm not a huge fan of it. I personally don't like to pay even $11 on a mascara, I usually stick to drugstore mascara so I won't be looking at that. Lancome has a um, Silas Booster Mascara Primer for $13, regularly $26. I don't wear a mascara primer either. And then there is a Exuvian's Performance Peel that is regularly $77 on sale for $38.50. I think somebody, maybe Vanessa talks about that in her video. I haven't had any experience with it, so I'm passing on everything on... Sunday. On Monday, Dose of Colors Desi X Katie Francation Palette, which is $55, is on sale for $27.50. I've definitely seen that palette go on sale many, many times. I'm actually shocked um, that you don't have to get it full price. So if you had your eye on it, it is a beautiful palette. I do have it. I believe I reviewed it. If I didn't, any Dose of Colors related videos, I'll try and link in the eye for you guys because I do have a Dose playlist. Their formula has definitely gotten better for me and I did feature them I believe in my brands I think you should try in 2019. So if you can get the palette on sale for under $30 I think that's a really good price. It's a great everyday palette. I believe I have it right here actually in my like top shelf of palettes. Um, this shade is beautiful. It's like a beautiful um, dirty money color. I mean it's like a chartreuse. This blue is gorgeous. It's just a great neutral palette. You can wear it every day. You can use it for a glam look. Um, perfect for even like a makeup artist. So love that palette so much. And then they have a Teamy Detox Mask. That's usually $30. is on sale for $15. I've never tried that either. So not really interested in picking up any mask at this time. On March 19th, the Mario Badescu Botanical Scrub. That is... Usually $26 is on sale for $13. Not a huge fan of Mario Badescu, so I'm not interested in that. And then Bare Minerals, Mineral Veil, and Bare Skin Perfecting Veil. Usually $24 to $27 on sale for $12 to $13.50. Not really a fan of Bare Minerals products either. So Tuesday, March 19th is a skip for me. Wednesday, March 20th, Proactive Adafaline Gel and Exfoliator. Um, are on sale. I don't really use proactive products. MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pots. There's sh two shades on sale for $11. These are usually $22. Soft Ochre and Painterly. I have used Soft Ochre before. I think it's a nice paint pot. I actually have a paint pot right here. This is uh, Groundwork. I wanted to try something different from Soft Ochre, but honestly Soft Ochre is like the OG color and it's good. I'm just trying to try a different eye primer, so I'm not planning on like buying that again anytime soon. March 21st, the Becca Backlight First Light and Ever Matte Primers will be on sale for $19. They're usually 
I don't really use a lot of primers, but I do like the Becca ones. I have owned almost all of them in the past, but I just decluttered them because I don't actually like to use primer. And then the Clarisonic applicator brush heads will be on sale for $19.50 and $29.50. Usually these are $39 to $59. I actually do have a Clarisonic. I don't really need any brush heads right now, but I think that's a great time to pick them up. Definitely on sale instead of when they're full priced. Friday, March 22nd, the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Eyeshadow Palette is on sale for $24.50. Usually it's $49. I kind of want to pick that up again. I did own it and decluttered it um, because I didn't think it was like worth the hype when I first got it, but I feel like I can manage to spend $24 like $25 on it, so I might repurchase it. And then the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion is $12, and that's usually $24. I recently picked up the eyeshadow primer set that they had for holiday. It went on sale, and I bought it on sale. I'm actually really enjoying that primer potion formula, so I think if you guys have been curious about it, you should definitely check it out. There's definitely people on YouTube that think it's overhyped, I personally have tried it previously and didn't think it was that great. Like years ago I tried it and I didn't like it that much. But now I think it's a perfectly good primer and so to get it on sale I think would be a great way to try it. And then the Peter Thomas Roth Hungarian Thermal Mask or Moisturizer will be on sale for $29 instead of the usual $58. I think that's a good deal. That particular skincare product did see a lot of hype as well. When it first launched, I definitely saw a ton of influencers talking about it. So I'm actually pretty surprised to see it in the sale. Um, but maybe, you know, people, they just wanted to get it out there some more. So I think Friday, March 22nd is a good day to shop the sale. And then Saturday, March 23rd, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. Um, usually $21, now $10.50. I don't use the Brow Wiz. I like to use the Anastasia Powder in my brows. I've never been interested in using a pencil on my brows so I know that's a big day for the sale for people but for me it's like meh and then philosophy time in a bottle serum and eye serum I've never tried but I know Vanessa said she wants to try that because she said it was really good or she thought she had tried she had tried a sample and she thought it was really good and then the Clinique high impact favorites kit is $12.50 usually $25 and I'm not really a huge fan of Clinique Sunday, March 24th, the it, Co the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed and Silk Micro Powder is $14.50. Usually it's $29. I'm not really a huge fan of IT Cosmetics products. And the IT Brushes for Alta, there's two brushes that will be on sale for $18 each. These are usually $36. Don't really need any new brushes. The Murad Clarify Cleanser and Oil Control Mattifier, usually $15 and $20, and they're regularly $30 and $40. I usually pick up the clarifying cleanser. I love to use it in my nighttime routine when I wash my face. I honestly feel like there's a difference in my skin if I stop using that product. I feel like my skin is much more acne prone. So I love to have that cleanser on hand because I do use it pretty much on a daily basis or at least very, very often in the shower at night. On Monday, March 25th, Skin Iceland Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. Four or eight counts, seven fifty or fifteen, usually fifteen to thirty dollars. I have a huge pack of eye gels that I need to get through. Lancome La Base Pro Face Primer is gonna be twenty one dollars, regularly forty two. Again, like I said, I don't really like primers, so I'm not planning on buying that. On Tuesday, March twenty sixth, the Ofer Nikki Tutorials Highlighter Trio is gonna be fourteen fifty, usually it's twenty nine. I actually have two Ofer highlighters, I think. And they're okay, they're very blinding, and they are fun. I don't really need any more, so I'm going to be passing on that, but if you, it's something you've always wanted to try, I would say why not. And then there is a dietary supplement that will be on sale for $49.50 on that same day, and it's usually $99, and it's by the brand Servalum. I don't even know how to say it. So, yeah, <laughs> probably not going to buy it. <laughs> Wednesday, March 27th, the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer will be $21. Usually it's $42. I actually have that product. It's in my background. I don't know if you can see it. It's nice. I definitely use it for an extra, you know, dose of hydration because it's so cold where I live. Um, and it's nice to get it on sale. I would never pay $42 for it. I believe I got it on sale, which is why I have it, but I would never pay full price for it. And then the Pure 4-in-1 Powder 
foundation will be $14.75. Again, I just don't have any interest in trying a powder foundation. On Thursday, March 28th, the Buxom Full On Pumping Lip Cream will be $10.50. I've actually bought a few of those before. They're super nice. They're not overly minty, like they don't hurt your lips, which is nice. And so I would recommend them, but I'm not buying anything personally. And then the Dermadoctor Kadu C Peel Pads, again, not something I'm interested in trying, will be $39 that day. On Friday, March 29th, the Tarte Tartlet Toasted Palette will be $19.50. This is where, like, for me, I wouldn't buy myself this palette. I've tried it in the past. I think it compares very much to the, um, what is that palette? Not... They're, uh, I love you so much. The ColourPop palettes, they're very similar. I did a comparison video. Um, I'll try and remember to link it up in the cards for you guys. Um, but if you don't want to buy ColourPop, or, you know, like for instance, like my um, friends, some of them don't really know much about ColourPop, but they love the Tarte brand. This is when I try to pick up for like Christmas gifts and stuff because somebody that doesn't wear a lot of makeup would probably love a Tarte palette. It's so like easy and basic for you know regular people to use all the time so I would recommend like if you have a friend's birthday or maybe a bachelorette party or you need to pick up a birthday gift or you you know want to start shopping for Christmas in advance this would be a really good idea for a girlfriend or like a sister or sister-in-law I would totally recommend checking that out and then the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Booster um, usually $80 on sale for $40. Uh, I am curious about Juice Beauty because they are so high priced and so it makes me curious about like how good they are. Definitely let me know down in the comments if you've tried the brand. I never have so always curious about them. Saturday, March 30th, Stila All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner is $11, usually $22. Again, I really like to use drugstore liquid liners. I do have one from Makeup Forever that I really like and I love the Lottie London Wing Woman one and also like Maybelline and L'Oreal make decent ones so I never usually pay high price tags for liquid liners and I've actually been wearing liquid liner a lot less which is kind of interesting for me. The Mario Badescu Drying Lotion will be $8.50. I've bought that on and off a few times. I never really... Like, I don't get enough acne where it bothers me, so usually I can, like, tolerate it until it's gone. So I don't really need the Mario Badescu drying lotion, but I can maybe see it helping people that have a lot of acne. Um, I also really like the Glam Glow Super Mud Mask is a good spot treatment, and I think that one's actually very effective. So, yeah, just some recommendations for me. And then the Dermablend Loose Setting Powder will be $14.50. I actually bought this powder. Uh, during one of the other Ultra 21 Days of Beauty and it's not my favorite powder. I've definitely found like my favorites and my favorite powder is actually the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless something. It's the pressed powder. Um, so I've, you know, kind of done my experimenting with different powders and found one that works for me. So I won't be buying the Dermablend powder but I know it had a lot of hype a few years ago on YouTube. Sunday, March 31st, Urban Decay eyeshadows and Moondust eyeshadows, these are the Urban Decay singles, will be 10 or 11, and they are usually 20 and 22. So I actually started off my makeup journey with Urban Decay singles. Oh, when I was in college, I visited an Urban Decay counter and I got like baked, half baked, and then like a few other colors to do my eyeshadow with. And so I really like the Urban Decay singles. They're very nostalgic to me, and I still have those original Urban Decay singles that I bought, um, but I would never buy them now because I have so many eyeshadows and I'm such a palette person, so I'm going to be passing on that. But if you just want a few shades like I did when I first started in makeup, I think it's a really fun investment. Sugar Rush, which is a new brand by Tarte, will have a preppy precision eyeliner that's $7.00. I don't know anything about that brand really, so I'm not interested. And then Origins Travel and Trial Kit for $14.75, usually $29.50. Origins is another skincare brand I haven't really tried a whole lot from. Not a huge fan of their products, really. They don't really draw me in, so I'm not really interested in trying that brand. But if you guys have any favorites, definitely let me know down in the comments. 
Monday, April 1st, April Fool's Day, Laura Geller, New York, Spackle Primer and Lip Spackle. Now 11.50 or 16, usually 23 to 32. I feel like I've heard people say some good things about that primer, but again, not a primer person, so I won't be buying that. Paracone MD Coal Plasma Product, 42.50 to 79.50. Not interested. I tried the Blue Plasma Toner from Paracone MD. I just felt like it was very cool to look at, but it felt like it was overpriced, so not interested in trying that myself. Tuesday, April 2nd, the Lime Crime Venus Palettes are $19. They're usually $38. I bought the original Venus Palette a long, long time ago when it was on Holt Look because, again, that palette was like the palette to buy a couple of years ago, and I never used it. I actually decluttered it to a friend, and I've heard a lot of people say a lot of good things about the Venus Palettes, especially that new purpley one, but... I don't need any more eyeshadow palettes and I don't want to buy those so I won't be buying them. And then the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. I know that product has a bit of a cult following so I can see those selling out pretty quickly because people love those facial radiance pads. I personally can't afford to be on that diet because if you use one, you know, in the morning and in the evening you'd be going through a, a pack of those a month. So that's a little bit more than I want to spend on a facial radiance pad. On Wednesday, April 3rd, the Cover FX Setting Powder is $17.50. It's usually $35. That's another product that has been in the 21 Days of Beauty before because I bought it during the 21 Days of Beauty. That particular powder, I think Jaclyn Hill maybe made it really, really famous when everyone wanted it. And I thought it was okay, but now that I've tried other powders from different brands, I didn't think it was very good. And I actually ended up, I think I sold it on my Poshmark, so I don't have the powder anymore. And then the Philosophy Ultimate Miracle Worker will be $37.50. I don't really know much about Philosophy either, so won't be picking that up. And then Thursday, April 4th, Tarte Quick Dry Matte Lip Paint and Glossy Lip Paint will be $10. I personally don't have any attachment to Tarte's lip products, so for me it's like you could just buy like a $10 lip product, you know, from NYX or Maybelline or anywhere else, so... That to me isn't like a screaming good deal. Exuvian's Age Reverse Eye Contour will be $39.50. I don't really need any eye creams right now, but it sounds interesting, especially because it's an $80 cream usually. And then Friday, April 5th, Too Faced Bronzers will be $15, and they're usually $30. I've never thought that Too Faced Bronzers were necessarily for me. I feel like they're too chalky. I like my bronzers to be more buttery. I love the NARS Casino Bronzer. That's like my all-time favorite bronzer. I panned that multiple times. And I also like Max Formula. I like the new Maybelline CD bronzers I've been trying. So I have a lot of new bronzers in my collection anyway. So definitely passing on that. And then the Mario Badescu Vitamin C Serum will be $22.50 usually $45. I don't really know much about using vitamin C in my skincare routine. I do have the Drunk Elephant C Firma Serum and I'm constantly like debating like when to put it on because technically you're supposed to like wear sunscreen when you use vitamin C because of exposure to the sun and there's like a whole science behind it. I don't know anything about that and until I finish my C Firma, I'm not going to buy more vitamin C because I literally don't know what to do with it. So, yeah, if you guys can help me down in the comments, I would really appreciate that as well. And then on that same day, the MAC Prep and Prime Skin will be $15.50. Again, a lot of primers in this sale. Not something I'm interested in, so passing on that. And then, this is the last day where you made it to the end. Saturday, April 6th, the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara will be $12 instead of $24. And that's actually a really good mascara. I know a lot of people that love the Superhero Mascara. So I think that might be a fun one if you've been wanting to try that mascara. You might as well try it on sale at $12. And then the Dermalogica Dynamic Skin Recovery, 1.7 ounces. Um, usually $36, uh, will be on sale for $36.50. Usually it's $73. That's insane. Like, what is that? <laughs> is that a lotion? Like, what does it do? Curious, 
but I won't buy it. And then the Benefit Cosmetics Giving Brow Volumizing Eyebrow Gel will be $12 instead of the $24. And I think that's a good price. I definitely have used the Gimme Brow before they repackaged it in the silver packaging. And then they had that whole like recall because I don't know, it was giving people like eye problems or something. I don't know, there was a whole like thing and you couldn't buy a Gimme Brow for a while. So I'm glad they handled that and bought that back. It's one of my very few products that I actually enjoy from Benefit. So if you are in the search of a new good eyebrow gel, I would recommend it. I personally prefer the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. That's like my go-to and I buy the one from Essence too. That's like two or three dollars. Super cheap, you can also buy that at Ulta. So anyway guys, that is everything for my Ulta 21 days of beauty. Those are my recommendations, just my thoughts on the things that are on the sale. Like I said, I was totally gonna like breeze over it, um, but there were a few things that definitely caught my attention. I personally don't see myself getting sucked into this sale, but I have been in many of your shoes before. I've definitely been one of those people stalking the Alta website to get some good deals. So it's always nice to watch these videos because then you can kind of get your, you know, dates sorted and figure out what you want to get. So I hope you guys found this video useful and entertaining. If there are any other tips you want to share with, you know, your fellow makeup community, definitely use my comment section and let us know. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next one soon. Bye guys.